and you know, I, 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 I'm not so against flying. Sorry. I mean, obviously, as an actor, you, you have to fly yeah, all carbon, over the place. Yeah, the carbon footprint's huge, but we, we make up for it by preaching to everyone how they should change their mind. <laughs> the problem we've got with this is that Meghan has agreed to be Harry's wife, and then the press have <laughs> torn her to pieces. <laughs> and let's, let's be really clear about what this is. Let's call it by its name. It's racism. She's a black woman, and she has been it's torn not racism. to pieces. You can't she just... has been torn to pieces. It's not racism. It absolutely no, it's is. Not. We're the most tolerant, lovely country uh, uh, in Europe. Let's Says a celebrate black, our women. It's so easy to throw the charge of racism at everybody, and it's really starting what to get What worries me about your comment is, you are a white, privileged male who has oh, no experience oh, 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 oh. I mean, can I just... I can't I... help what I am. I was born like this. It's an immutable so you, characteristic. So, so to call me a white, privileged male is to be racist. Unfortunately, you're being racist. You cannot dismiss... No, did you want to come back in for a good Yeah, I just... I, I think that it's one of the dangerous things about throwing racism around in this country, which we're doing a lot at the moment, is people become so conscious of it that things like the Manchester uh, grooming scandal get ignored. So that, you know, we need to be careful that we need to call out racism when it's seen, when it's obvious and when it's there, and we should stand together to condemn it. But for fear of sounding racist, there's been a horrific things have happened in Manchester and in towns all over the north of England, and we should be careful and use racism when, when it's there and it's obvious and not a, a call someone racist just because they don't agree with you. Um, Which Labour candidate, if any, do you believe can reconnect with lost voters in the North? Who should replace Magic Grandpa? Um, <laughs> that's Starmer. original, that's original. Uh, Keir Starmer, <laughs> Keir Starmer gets your vote, would he? Yeah. And what, why Keir? He just looks like he can take Boris on quite well. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's what I get by. You don't think any of the four women would be... Oh, it's not about oh. women. Jeepers, creepers. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, I just was interested let me, in let your Let me rewind. View. Any yeah. of the women? <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? Any woman? Because it's really important what gender you are or sex you are rather than what your policies are and what, how you approach politics. Come on. <laughs>